We've got some new interesting news in the AI world, uh, especially LLMs. All AI that we seem to talk about recently is LLMs. That's not true, but we talk about the LLMs a lot because a lot's happening in that space. Google Gemini has now been released. So BARD is now, they're calling it Gemini, which is uh, a more advanced version of the LLM that Google put out. And so check that out. If you go to bard.google.com, you'll now get transferred to gemini.google.com. Looks the same, functions the same, except it's got new and improved features. If you want to think about it the way ChatGPT went from version 3.5 to 4.0, and it was a much better experience, that's what Google's done with Gemini. The other thing that Google's done with Gemini is now it is an app available on Android and on iOS. Now on Android, the platform gives a little more access to things and it is Google, so that doesn't hurt at all either. Uh, on iOS, Apple's a little more restrictive with the platform. So if you wanna say replace the voice assistant on Apple, eh, not happening, Siri's here to stay. Well, on Google, also they are Google, so they've added this app where you can now interact with it with the Hey Google interaction that you can normally interact with the Google Assistant. So the interesting thing for an LLM, and, and folks are always looking at what is an LLM, to me, one thing I see for an LLM is it's like a user interface. So if you previously uh, interacted with Alexa or Google or Siri, they were pre-programmed to certain things that they could do. You could say, hey, Siri, what's the weather? If you ask Siri, hey, tell me about a thing spelled W-E-A-T-H-E-R, Siri probably doesn't have any idea what you're talking about. But in an LLM, it has the ability to use language to, in a sense, figure out what it is that you're actually looking for. So that's an interesting thing with an LLM where you can interact with it in a way that it can actually get you the weather report, even if that's not exactly what you asked for. Or it might have some data, you can ask for something and it can figure out which data you're most likely to want. Whereas before it would just say, sorry, I don't know what you're talking about, which is most of my conversations with Siri. But now to integrate an LLM, this is something I've really been looking forward to is now we can get way richer experiences where you can even communicate, you can kind of get help in the app from the app. Hey Google, what are you able to tell me about the weather? Can you tell me how much snow we're gonna get tomorrow? Those kinds of things that it may or may not be able to answer, but it can tell you what it can answer and all those kinds of things. The other thing that I really like about these voice activated uh, LLMs is that you can have a conversation about something interesting. So I often like to just while I'm driving down the road, pop on the voice one and say, tell me about the fall of the Byzantine Empire. Ask it interesting things from history that it's almost like a custom podcast. So that will work on iOS as well. The Gemini uh, app from, from Google, Gemini app for iOS will give you the ability to, to interact with it verbally, which is also very cool. So very cool stuff coming out from Google. Bard is now Gemini, newer version, much more advanced. Check it out. A lot, lot of new features available there.